Don't quite know. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, li like the graphical fidelity. That's it. It looks really good, though. Yeah, yeah. Visual visuals are very important for a fighting game. You can't just be functional. <laughs> but right now, it'll be functionally running over John right now. <laughs> what would dysfunctionally running over John look like? Dysfunctionally? Uh, if you keep getting grabbed. Uh, so far, Obese Fart playing out of his mind. I'm telling you, like, he is locked in. John just trying to find some footing oh back on the stage. Okay, all right. I was like, what? no, please, no zero to death. Uh, no zero oh! to death. But again, OP Spart with that reflector yeah. on, on like. You God. forget Min Min has it until it's coming back at you. And then yeah. you're like, oh. But John is kind of playing automatic here because he always expects to be able to use it in neutral to catch mm -hmm. people off guard. Now with OP Spart right now, again, doing it on a reaction. Oh, oh what but, are you doing down there? And some things just have to be on reaction, like a re-grab. Yeah, John Numbers needed that too. Like, he was already sitting at 72 when that happened, so, and Obese was at like 70. That's a whole stock ahead, not anymore. John finding his way back into this game. The Nair to up smash, how many times have we seen that and all of a sudden the game is even? Too many, and that was such a risky sun sell, because I'm like, oh yeah, Obese Fart just gonna up smash oh, it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharking through the stage and hitting Obese Fart with that sun sell. In uh, right now. Oh, oh no. Okay. John completely reversing the momentum. This Obese Fart almost zeroed to death them first stock, and all of a sudden, Obese Fart playing on the back foot, but finds the up smash out of shield, not enough to kill. John Numbers, known for his great DI. It's and so fast, and Obese Fart just kind of sliding under the sun, catching John, and he goes low with that Megawatt. Yeah, that Megawatt hits like a truck, but that back hit of the forward air hits harder. Not enough to kill, though. Yeah, oh. if, if John was a vehicle, he would be a Hummer. But how much he, with how hard he hits you. <laughs> and if Obese Fart was a vehicle? Obese Fart was a vehicle? Uh, a Prius. A moped. A moped? A moped. Oh, yeah, he'll repeatedly run you over. Yeah, exactly. It's going to take a while, but he's going to put in the work. <laughs> Finding his way out of the falling Naren to up smash that time, which saves a lot of damage. Obese Fart really racking it up, keeping John at ledge, which he's done so well to everybody today. I was kind of expecting a spike from Obese Fart. Oh. I want to see it happen. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> but Obese Fart does have a lot more to lose right now. He can't play as risky. Mm -mm. Last off against John, it needs to reset the brackets. You just want to play efficiently. Yeah, and he is with this Megawatt, throwing it out there, looking for the hits and finding them. Dragon not finding the two frame, though. A grab! That Dragon's charged up. All but right, but John just kind of sliding to the left. Still gets on. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. back air. John finds a back air. Good DI keeps Fart alive. Eats the soccer does ball but saves the jump. He does. No way. No way. Oh, that was crazy. Beautiful final stock. I was just speechless. Finding the spike on the tether when all of that other stuff was going on? Okay, so he's going to make it back, right? And we slow it down. Tech, he hits him. Jump. He goes for the tether grab. Oh, that wasn't even the spike. That was the header. Yeah. God. I love this game. Oh, my God. That's why they call him John Numbers. He's always got your number. Because he's, yeah, and he's coming in first. <laughs> but now. You know what number he has on speed dial? 911. Uh, 911. <laughs> <laughs> And now, Obese Fart, who played so out of his mind early in that game, was up big at the end, died to two spikes, losing almost two whole stocks, has to do it all again. It, that's a, That takes a mental toll, and that's got to set in. If not this game, maybe the next. It's like being held back a grade. You're like, I, I guess <laughs> it'll be easy. I've done it before. Yeah. And so far, Obese Fart making it look like he's done it before. This is a very similar situation last game, but now you just have to not get spiked. Don't overextend and get spiked. Megawatt making its way out. Obese looking for these edge guards. I'm shocked the Megawatt did not kill even from like halfway across the stage. Ram Ram? Really? Fine. Yeah. Fine. And all of a sudden, Obese Fart up a whole stock again. We saw the same thing in game one, and now John bringing it all the way back again. He can't keep getting away with this. This is a replay. We're watching a replay. Please adjust your streams, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, it would be smart playing around the platform super well, finding a megawatt hit, but John looking to close this stock out on Fart, but misses the punish on that missed grab. I kind of see these little stutter steps from both players as they're just trying to find the right position to throw something out. John, maybe for a grab, maybe for a jab check, and at least just to get away and get a grab. And so far oh. playing it safe with these grabs, being like, okay, if you're too far away, nothing you throw at me is going to hurt. Yeah, Fart doing a great job hanging on to the stock right now, sitting at 156, almost at max rage. That could be a little scary for John at 77, especially if we see the Megawatt come out here soon. There it is. Ooh, good air dodge from John. Now Beast Fart still living at 179. That's full rage. He was trying to oh, do that dead? reflector as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Great play from Fart. Making it. Oh! Ooh. Oh! He's like, this is the three stock I wanted again. <laughs> Not quite. He's dead. Yes. Okay, yes. all right. A little part of me was holding on to hope. Yeah. <laughs> That was crazy, the, the drop tethered Nair, and then you think he's dead because he's so deep, but he saved that jump, and then gets a re-grab, sheesh. And now John, down a whole stock again, but we saw him make it back last game. Do you think he can do it again? He's not angry enough. <laughs> it, it needs to be at least even in order for his, like, John Numbers mode to activate. Yeah, and he does have, like, a set to play with, so yeah. if he, even if he loses this, he can at least bring it back game three. Like, and he has this mentality of like, I don't have to go all hard right now. I gotta build. I gotta save some of this energy for the possible bracket resets. Mm. You don't want to lose steam right now. Mm, he's you want to get the download. You want to start getting the, you know, the conditioning down. Yes. He's cool. Oh my God! What a tech chase. And just like that, he's unfazed. He's like, all right, that was tough, but game three, you're gonna see. Yeah. Hopefully, John collected the data, plugged it into his Excel spreadsheet brain. And, you know, applied some formulas, got the download, sent the file back out. And what, what, what did we export it cooking. to? To the Excel workbook, of course. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. No CSVs here. No, God, no, no CSVs. please. Yeah. All my homies hate CSVs. That's right. Yep. But do your homies hate Hollow Bastion? No, I love Hollow Bastion. Me too. I love Hollow Bastion. I think this is one of the best counterpick stages for so many characters, and people just don't go there because they're like, oh, I'll do PS2 again. No, no. PS2? You on PS2 Switch. You want to hear controversial take, Swiss? Yeah. PS2 shouldn't be a starter. Small Battlefield should. And I'm tired it, no, of pretending it shouldn't. The PS2 is a counterpick now. I know. Thanks to the global rule set. But people are really upset about that. Yeah, well, it's okay. You can just jump them into PS2. True. It's fine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Just gentlemen to pokey floats. It'll be fine. Yeah. What are you afraid of? But so far, John back with a vengeance. The Hollow Bastion pick working out, but you're at ledge against Obese Fart, who I've said it like 20 times, has been destroying people at ledge. So it's a little scary to be John Numbers right now. It's super scary. Never mind. And it's something I've never noticed because the Beast Fart just like never really stops moving. It's just like the little bounce animation that Min Min has. She's like a boxer, mm. always on her toes, ready to strike. It's the arms. It's all in the arms. They're like springs, you know? So she's always bouncing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a bouncy girl. John's bouncing right now, bouncing all over Obese Fart who finds himself down a whole stock. And we saw John make it back from a whole stock. So now, Obese Fart, it's your turn to show what you got. Throwing it all out off stage, but John just air dodging through all of it. But John is starting to realize, he's like, do I really want to go another two games with this guy? <laughs> Possibly another three? No, I will end it now. He's had enough fun. Mm. But Obese Fart, he can just oh. taste the bracket reset, but he needs to get back to stage. Yeah, it's losing its flavor right now, Swiss, because down a whole stock, but finds the kill. If he can get John to 70% before his stock goes. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's oh, fine. Oh, no. I fear it's cooked. No, no, no. We've seen the three stock happen. The That's megawatt true. is out. He can get a good grab. This is going to be a really good power up. I think what's also had Obese Fart like, on the winning end of these interactions more often than not is that he has in mind how powered up that sun is from John. So he knows when he can throw out like an arm and it's going to go through like the weak version versus, okay, when do I have to be prepared to reflect it? Right. Not even oh. John is ready for that. Big dragon hit oh, at no. ledge. Oh, my God. Oh. That could have been it. Ooh. Ooh, good Nair coming out. Okay. Oh. Wow. Still? 
All right, Obi's far is like, hey, where'd you go? Yeah. Not to the blast zone. Back to the Megawatt, trying to shield pressure as much as he can. And John trying to just uh, low profile that Megawatt again. Finally finds it, 91%. It's still not over. Yeah, absolutely not. We've seen Obi's fart hit almost zero to deaths against John. So to think that this game is over, it's not. It's not. And John is starting to go for those forward smashes that he just instinctually feels, and Obi's fart starting to call them out. Mm -hmm. Obi's fart doing a great oh. job pushing John the ledge, but you can't down tilt into John's shield. He will grab you, but a good job making it back. The Nair off ledge, pushing John all the way back out. This game is looking close to even. Okay, doesn't get the grab a little too slow. John gets it forward air, powered up. He's got to go deep. Hula hoops, keeping him up. No, off. no, no way. Okay, what do we see? Attacking the soccer ball. The one-two punch. Good job calling out John in that tech situation. Oh, but the uh -oh. soccer ball once more, his best friend. Oh, no, and the dash attack on we'll the mono plats, and John takes Zeno. Once again, in a nail-biter of a finish. Yeah, absolutely. And that I think he had deep breathing up on that dash attack, too. Probably was the extra oomph to make it kill there at the end. This soccer ball collision just... Ah! Wow, I want to see the whole last interaction again. It was just perfect. Jonathan Numerals. You sly dog. Taking another Xeno right, at, right out from under us. Oh, no, no. Right in front of us. <laughs> this was no surprise. Because how well he played, but I was surprised that Obisfart didn't actually get the bracket reset. Mm. He was playing so well, having the mental snack for those sun styles, like, on deck. Because, like, yeah, look at that. He yeah. punched through it, and knowing then, that it was going to be safe, and took that sock with the Mega Wands. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's like, bam, one, two. Mm. He's like, it's safe. I know it. <laughs> and John not really throwing out those sun styles in neutral after he got that reflected. But, you know, this was an unfortunate interaction, trying to reflect the soccer ball. It is just too fast to do it on reaction. Yeah. We still got it. But 161, John a 102. So close. So close to bringing this one all the way yeah, back. He jumped. And right when he threw out that second arm, oof, John dashed. God. So well played. Even though Beast Part is like, you know what? Great sets. Great times. And always great times here at Xeno Weeklies. You got to come every single week up until the very end. Every Wednesday, hosted by House of 2000. On here at Xeno Zero Gaming at 21 Ludlow Street here in beautiful Chinatown. Every entrance is $15. And if you can't come in person, be sure to catch us live at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. Pre-register at start.gg slash Xeno. And follow Devon3000 on Twitter for all the latest updates. But Swiss, if yes. you want to win the Xenos, you got to go to the bombs first. All right. It's a little bit cheaper, so it's more accessible. Every single VOD. Every single game you play will be on stream and posted to YouTube, even though we try to do that here as well. But you yes. know when the entrants are high, you never know. But bombs, you will have those VODs. You'll be able to get all the friendlies in you want afterwards. It's a grind session, Swiss. And that's how you win the Xenos. What, I have to play the game in order to you get You have good? to play the game against people Ew. that are better than you in Ew. order to, yeah. Ew, I, I don't know. like losing. I, well, then you know what? Maybe Bombs isn't for you. No, but. Bombs is totally for me. I have to learn how to lose. But you know what? I'm not going to lose out. I'm not going to miss out on Xenosaga mm. this Saturday, June 15th. It's the last monthly that we're going to throw here. I know. It is the end of an era. But if you want to be, if you want to come out and you want to enjoy Xenosaga for one last time, it is going to be here. 3 p.m. for singles. I think a little earlier for the side event. But don't miss out. June 15th, 21 Ludlow Street. Be sure to follow Twitter at Devon3000 on Twitter for the updates if there is any sort of delay or vice versa. Or maybe even a new side event. I, I think we're just sticking with doubles. We're just keeping doubles? It classic. Okay, we're, keeping, we're classic. keeping it classic. Yeah. But, you know, speaking of Devon3000 on Twitter, the hardest worker in the industry. Oh, the entire House of 3000 oh, yeah. team. You gotta hire them. Yeah, shoot them an email. It's right there. It's right on your screen. You pay the money they do things. Yeah, follow them on Blue Sky too. Yeah, <laughs> the better Twitter. The better Twitter. But you can also follow them on Twitter. It's fine. And where you're watching right now, Twitch. Be sure to subscribe. Throw us your uh, Amazon Prime. Subscribe to the YouTube to watch all the vods to catch up on the latest and greatest matches and join the community on Discord. Absolutely. And you know what's coming up? New York City's largest event, Swiss. You got to defend the North. All right. In Long Island. 
Really? It's in Long Island? <laughs> yep. Yeah, this year yeah, this year it's in Long Island. It's Where? at Mineola. No way. Yeah. I'm from right around there. Really? Yes. Originally? Yes, originally. Whoa. That, yeah. It's yeah. in your hometown. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's well, pretty crazy. Well, you know, you got to register. You can wake up, have a breakfast sandwich, and then go play some great games. Yeah. And once you're in Smash, you can be like, whoa, was that Street Fighter? Whoa, was that Tekken? Whoa, was that Skullgirls? Yeah. So, something I want to point out for, for this event is that even though it is in Long Island, uh, they this event will have uh, free shuttles that take you from the Long Island Railroad to the event, so you don't have to, like, Uber uh, from the train there. And... Uh, a lure round trip ticket is like 20 bucks so it's actually like way more uh accessible than i thought it would be being in long island yeah so I, I that's was a personally w. afraid about yeah. the uber long that's a island's w. accessible uh, and listen, i'm not listen, afraid to say it it is accessible but it's like once there and being like okay if like this is off the beaten path i have no idea how the bus system works i gotta take an uber but exactly. you know what i'm gonna do it for a 24-hour gaming venue with an indoor pool when, yep. I'm not, when I'm not smashing, I'm going to be swimming. All right. Nassau County is accessible. Suffolk County, unaccessible. <laughs> unaccessible. That's where I'll draw the line. All it's right. north of the Bronx. That's Westchester. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all it's all upstate to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I went to West. I went to a, a Westchester event over the weekend, and the guy was like, "Oh, where are you from?" I'm like, "Oh man, like I'm from New York, and I've never been this far upstate." And then I thought about it for oh, a second. You I'm offended like, him. I'm like, okay, upstate, like guess, with, with air quotes. And I guess he's like, I need all to. right, I know exactly where you're from. If you think we're upstate, I guess I gotta say like north of the Bronx and east of Queens. Like <laughs> Long Island thinks they can get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But I think that's going to be it from us tonight. We got three more Xeno Weeklies left. Be sure to follow us every single Wednesday. Tune in. Don't tune out. And we are going to enjoy the best of the time that we have left. Be sure to follow me at Arnie Hermes on Twitter. And where can they follow you? At Big Easy, four underscores Ooh. on Twitter. We got another one and two or highlight reel coming this week. Yo, I actually really love those. With a last stock, last hit against Devin. Ah. Yep. All right, Dre, yep. give him one. Yep. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to tune in and watch that. All right. All right. Yeah. Catch you later, folks.